Hey, welcome. Now, before we finally go back to our mobile app, what we want to do is we want to create the row header for the managed vendors. And in the future, we're going to be able to retrieve our vendors and also being able to display our vendors. But for the now, we just want to create the row header. And also we can do the same for the withdraw and also we can do the same for the manage orders and we can also do the same for the manage products okay now to do this we have to go back to our vs code and first of all we are doing we are doing this for the vendors screen so we have to go to that file and if you check closely you can see we have up to one two three four five six that is six box that is six containers so what we can do is we can create just one container and be able to reuse it okay back to our vs code and over here we can create a function but before then we can just go ahead and specify the type of function and it's going to be a type of widget and we can call this function underscore row header great and now only since it is since it, it is a type of widget it is expecting a widget so we have to return a widget and it's going to be the expanded widget and the reason for this expanded widget is because we want the container to take whatsoever available available space that is left and now we can have a container okay and in order to have access to some additional properties the container has we can then have the decoration and then the box decoration class and first of all we can give this a border and that is the border you've seen over here you can see over this edge we have a border and we have a border and we want to give border for all sides so this is going to be border dot all and we can give this border a color colors is gray and we can make this a little bit darker by giving it a shade of probably 800 or we can just go with 700 and you can see it looks darker now Ctrl B to make this white and now we can give this container a color of colors that's yellow and that's the color you are seen over here and also what we can do is we can give this color a shade of 700 sorry for that backing dog okay and uh, it's going to to save and add your comma over here. Great. And now within the child, sorry, within the container, we can then have a child and it's going to be a test widget. And what we want to do is we want to make this row header dynamic. To do this over here, we can create a variable and we can just go ahead and specify it's going to be a type of string because it's going to be a test. And over here, we then have to pass in the test. And the reason for this is so whenever we call, whenever we call this row header, we then have to pass in the value to this test variable. Okay. And also within the expanded widget, it has a property known as flex. And the reason we are having this flex is we do not want to have the expanded widget to take the available space but we want to specify the space we want the expanded widget to take you can see over here over here you can see this box is a bit smaller to that of this and you can see this box is a bit bigger to that of this and this both are same and this is pretty much smaller than this right now to do this we're also going to make this dynamic if not we can easily just say one and two and you can see two is greater than one 
So for this reason, 2 is going to have a bigger box compared to 1. And 3 is going to have a bigger box compared to 1 and 2. Seems good. And also what we can do is we can make this dynamic. Over here, you can see it is a number. So we can just go ahead and specify it is going to be a type of int. And we can call this flex. And over here, flex also. Great. And this is basically it. Use country and so save. And over here, we can then wrap this container with a column widget in order to accept an additional property, which is going to be displayed vertically. And now we can use a row widget. And the reason for this row is we want to have our widget displayed horizontally. And the row can take multiple widgets, which are going to be displayed horizontally. And now the first type is going to be that underscore row header. And now you, you can see it wants us to pass the value to that variable called test. And this is going to say logo. Later, logo. And the flex is going to be one. We want it to be smaller. And we can easily just copy this. Sorry for that backing dog. Really sorry. Okay, and this is going to say business. Okay, business. Business name. And we want this to be a bit much more bigger. So this is going to be Siri. And the second we have is city and state. And this is a bit much more bigger than this. And both are same. Right? Okay. So we can give that too and copy this further and this is going to be ct and this is going to be two and state also this is going to be two and also we need for the action and this is going to be one and it's going to say view more and it's going to be one or so use control and s now to save and you can see the reason why it is one you can see this is smaller and this is smaller and basically having the same size with that of this and this is bigger so it has the three size and this is two this is two okay and hopefully you understand all this but if you don't please do what to let me know and let's go check this out vendors okay seems cool and what we can then do is we can give this a shade of 900 to so, so get that similar look and within the test we can add a style to this test style and first of all we can give this a color and this is going to be colors dot white and we can give this a font width make it bold font width dot bold and also we can wrap this test with that with a pattern to give some British space okay and let's go check this out and okay working as expected working as expected Okay, and you can just do this for the withdrawal and orders and so on.